In this video, I'm cracking open this 10 pack of comic books from Ollie's. Now let's see what's inside. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them all for your viewing pleasures in videos just like this one. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go and tap that notification bell so that you don't miss out every time I post a new video. Uh, so a few months back, I went to Ollie's. It was one of the first videos to actually get some traction on this channel. And um, I really enjoyed myself. Probably, I'd say about 80% of you guys who know who I am. It's probably because of that video. But anyway, while I was there, I did get some. I got a hardcover. Um, I got some... Uh, I got a paperback or two. Yeah, I got a She-Hulk by Dan Slott. I got a, anyway, I had a bunch of stuff. One of the things I got was this 10-pack mystery bag uh, from Ollie's comic book mystery bag. So, uh, super value pack, a $20 value, 10 different comics. It says some PG-13. It says, for more, visit ndcomics.com. How did I never notice that? Let's see if this website still exists. It does. So apparently this was packed up by New Dimension Comics. Um, they have legendary basement sales and all sorts of things. They're a chain of comics based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Look at that. Look at that. We just, we learning stuff. This is a great video. Anyway, so there's 10 books in here. I doubt any of them will be of any like real like retail value, um, but we're going to crack it open to see what's inside. All right, guys. I got some people here doing plumbing work. So I'll try to crack this out before they get to drilling and stuff because we'll just never get this video done if not. Um, so anyway, this is an Ollie's. Uh, this is an Ollie's 10-pack. Yep. And it turns out they sell these at or they're packed by ndcomics.com. And uh, I think that stands for New Dimension Comics, which is a line or a chain of stores based in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, so anyway, if you're wanting more value packs, go to this website. Although website's kind of archaic, I have to say. Anyways, let's let's get into this bag. See what we got. Obviously, we see what the front two books are. And because they're back, they're packed by an actual comic shop and they're not just like publisher overstock items. I doubt this is going to have, like, anything seriously valuable at all. But, I mean, for $6, 10 comics, it's, what, 60 cents a comic? It's not bad at all. Uh, cool. So, some of these are upside down. These are just packed all kinds of ways. I was trying to... Trying to get these all. All right. <laughs> some of these are bagged and boarded. Some of them aren't. This is just crazy. But anyway, I'm going to kind of go through these one by one. All right. So. Boom. So first up, we have Spawn Blood Feud. Number three. Pretty sure Blood Feud was a four part series. Um. So, obviously, written by, oh no, this is an Alan Moore story. So, it's written by Alan Moore, art by Tony Daniel, Kevin Conrad. So, I'm excited to have this, because, um, I mean, it's Alan Moore Spawn. So, it's probably definitely better than Todd McFarlane Spawn. But anyway, this artwork is great. I wonder if it's inked by Todd McFarlane. Nope. Looks like it's inked by Kevin Conrad. And I only ask because this inking style does look kind of similar. But anyway, we're not going to go through all these issues like this. All right, so that's that one. All right, so this looks like the Spectre. It's a Virgin variant. So that's cool. Is that the Spectre? Maybe that's not the Spectre. Because this is a Dynamite comics book. So let's see what this is then. On the pages of Project Superpowers, this is Black Cross, written by Warren Ellis, artwork by Colton Worley. Uh, Project Superpowers, Black Cross, Volume 1, 
number three, published by Dynamite. Interesting. Obviously, it's an issue three. I may read it and see if I'm lost. I'm probably going to be lost. So that's that. All right, so this is by Valiant Solar, Man of the Atom. Joe Casada cover there. Story by Jim Shooter and Steve Ditko. Interesting. So written by Kevin Van Hook. Penciled by Steve Ditko. Obviously, Steve Ditko, known for his work on Spider-Man. So that's very cool. This is clearly an older issue. It's on this newsprint. When was this published? Huh. There's not even a year here. But, okay. So this is clearly from the 90s. This is an ad from, like, 1992. So, very cool. All right. Then the random bagged and boarded issue. We've got Savage Dragon, issue number two. Savage Dragon being Eric Larson's uh, image baby. And Savage Dragon is, like, still going. I think it's, like, 260-something right now. So that's cool. We got Excalibur. Uh, obviously not the original Excalibur series, but still written by Chris Claremont. Um, this is issue number six. So that's cool. The Black Bat. Brian Bucciolato, Bucciolato and Ronan Cliquette. Let's see. Okay, so this is an issue number one. So at least we won't be lost in the middle of the story. Looks like this was printed back in 2013. Uh, and this is a J. Scott Campbell cover. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Wrath. Oh, wait, no. That's the back. <laughs> so here we go. Book of Death by Robert Venditti. Um, this is issue three out of four. Another Valiant book. So definitely a lot of indie stuff in this pack. Very cool. Yeah, three or four. This is from 2015. This looks interesting. I've heard great things about Robert Venditti, but I've not read anything by him yet. But anyway, so that's that. All right, here we have Decoy, number two. I don't recognize that logo. I don't know who this publisher is. Uh, let's see. This is a very cool kind of fold-out cover there. Penny, a Penny Farting Press production. Yeah, I've never heard of this company. But it's from 2002. Artwork's cool. It's cartoony. This guy looks familiar. I can't tell you who he looks like, though. This honestly looks really cool. Um, I mean, it's an issue, too, but it looks cool. I'll check it out. I'll check out Decoy. It looks interesting. All right. We got Batman and Robin from the New 52, uh, written by Peter J. Tomasi, with art by Pat Gleason. This is issue number 18. Um, and I mean, I don't have to tell you guys how much I love Batman or how much I love Damian Wayne. And so Pete Tomasi wrote this story with the both of them in it. And, uh, I need to buy that omnibus. I think it's like 70 bucks on Amazon. And I have like a $50 gift card. I've been trying to decide if I was going to get the Batman and Robin omnibus or if I'm going to get the, uh, what is it, Batman Road to No Man's Land. Um, but anyway, there's that. And finally, we got Marvel Comics War Machine. Um, I guess this is issue number 17. Very cool. More bizarre than his victory in Nazi Germany. So obviously... War Machine, you know, kind of being a spinoff of Iron Man. Uh, you got Captain Rhodey here. Um, very cool stuff. Very, very cool. Who did the artwork in this? All right, written by Dan, Dan Abnett. Art by Sandu Florea. With inks by Tim Dillon. Uh, so cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, I mean, you know, so, all right, that, well, that's it. We're done with the 10 the pack. We've opened all the issues. Clearly these 10 packs are going to be more for just reading. There, there's not going to be a lot of collector's items in here. 
Especially, like I said, when I found out they were packed by an actual comic shop, I was like, oh, all right, well, the fun's over. But again, these little grab bags, they're not necessarily for collecting. They're just for having a great way to get into stories that you may have missed out on, right? So let's say I read, you know, this, what was this, number three of whatever series this is. Let's say I read Black Cross number three by Warren Ellis, and I'm like, oh, snap, I really like that. Well, there's plenty of websites that you can go to and find your run and collect it with filler issues, right? Whether it's uh, My Comic Shop or New Cadia or eBay stores, there's a bunch of places that'll just have random issues of comics. And you can go back and read some of the really cool stories. And that's why I like getting mystery bags and mystery boxes. Speaking of, you're into mystery boxes. There's a very cool collaboration on this channel coming very soon. I wish I could say more than that, but I can't. So stay tuned for that. I hope you saw something that you liked. If you have any um, any history, if you've read any of these books, like let me know in the comments. Let me know if any of these stories are good. This book of death looks super interesting. I might go get the other three issues of that. But yeah, let me know if any of these look interesting to you or if you've read any of them. I would love to hear about them uh, and let me know what I should jump straight to the top of my reading pile. Um, definitely excited about this cup, this uh, spawn series too. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you saw something you liked. If not, that's cool. You can buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.